Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, I will be your host for this webinar. My name is Brisella, and I'm speaking to you from Peru, the country of Ceviche. And I would like to welcome you uh, to our webinar about new tech opportunities. It's great to have all of you here today. I hope that you are like seeing us from different countries. And well, with me today, uh, before we start, uh, I will say a little bit more about myself. As I say, my name is Brisella. Everyone here at Buyer's Dev call me Bri. And I'm an excellent experience representative. And I work with the experience brand team. With me today, I will have my coworker, Anna Lou. She will have the chance to introduce herself later. And also, I would like to let you know, guys, that we are streaming from YouTube and LinkedIn. So if you have any questions, please try uh, start writing them. So we will try to cover all of them uh, before we finish the webinar. So in today's webinar, we will start talking about our company. After that, we will talk about the technologies that we work with and then move into the subject of the tech industry and the trends that we see globally. After all of this, we'll discuss more about the talent we can find in the area and how we've been making the most out of it. Also, I will give some tips on how to join the top 1% we will also have our B-Devers with us today, talking about their experiences, and we will finish it off with a session for questions and answers. So as I just say, feel free to ask your question during the presentation, since we will be answering by the end of the webinar. So talking a little bit about virus Dev and what we do. In 2009, a group of young, motivated entrepreneurs and former software engineers discovered a fundamental market gap and tape tech talent in Latin America. The tech work clamor for highly specialized software development services and engineering talent, and the region was flourishing with technological education and innovation. So that's when Paula Zorin and Nacho DiMarco decided to join forces and created a new project with a clear purpose, becoming the largest software outsourcing company in Latin America. And Bayer's Dev innate digital identity powers transformation across all industries, which lead the company to be the number one fastest growing outsourcing company in Latin America. We hire only the top 1% of IT talent, and since then we've been growing a lot, and we have a mission to be recognized and trusted for employing the most talented professionals in the IT market, and also supporting our clients with their digital journeys, as we look forward to continue growing with them, and also keep transforming lives through technology. And also, speaking about that, let's talk about the technology field. As we all know, technology and the tech industry is very dynamic. So what will be the horizon for this year? We have over 4,000 professionals working in more than 100 industry. And in the past year alone, we were with 137 technologies. So from this place of leadership in the market, we noticed some trends in the industry. The first is that tech is geodiverse and the Latin American tech scene is booming. Another one is then boring tech is in demand, meaning that the economic slowdown is calling for efficiency. Here also have then there is a spotlight in user experience and AI related technologies. We also notice that the movement of more women entering the tech scene, then that means that more female candidates applying to roles in this area. And also noticeable that the tech is seeing demands more than just compensation. Things such remote work, role opportunities, and other conditions are also important. So let's discuss more about the trends. So as I was saying for this year, we have some trends in software development, especially according to our SBP of business development, both levels, the top five of these trends are. As number one, we have the digital immune system. The concept is a way of safeguarding systems against virus-based threats for machines and users. And it combines procedures to ensure protection 
And even though no cybersecurity strategy is 100% foolproof, this is through approach and it combines five key elements, autonomous testing, chaos engineering, auto remediation, observability, and continuous validation. As number two, we also have cloud adoption. And this trend is in a spotlight with hybrid and multi-cloud deployments. So with the rise of remote work after COVID-19, more people are relying on cloud services to access important tools, store their work and some other things. So now there are new products that incorporate cloud computing with flexibility and accessibility. And the businesses will need expert providers in this, in this area. As number three, we have software and IT outsourcing. So with the focus on digital transformation, we all know that businesses look to incorporate tech in their processes and procedures too. And that brings the need for experts. So for a more extensive resource based in outsourcing, we also need to know that the as a service market is growing and the automation as a service may outpace the others with tools uh, such as chatbots and also voice assistants. For number four, we have sustainability. Since technology's impact on the environment and planet is on the spotlight, it also requires a lot of energy for physical servers. So there is a need for more energy efficient tech and many businesses are committed into it. So there is another motivation for making technology greener, brand reputation, for example, so to become more appealing to consumers who believe also in this mission. Uh, finally, but not least, talking about these trends, we have AI governance, and that is the global AR market is a huge trend for this 2023. A governance is an issue and AI is a powerful entity and needs legal regulations. So consider, for example, how AI is used in facial recognition or, for example, for financial predictions. That means that it can affect our global society. So some initiatives are already ongoing and even governments consider things like AI accountability. But there are there is still a lot to be discussed and many of the tech giants are involved in these efforts. So for now, I will give some space to my co-worker Anna Lu and she will be telling you a little bit more about what we have to bring for this webinar. So Anna Lu, are you there? Hello, everyone. My name is Ana Luisa. Everyone here calls me Ana Lu. Thank you so much, Brie, for this amazing presentation. So for now, um, we are going to continue discussing some of these trends. And I want to focus here on the talent. So we've had some great insights from the industry, right? Um, in here, we receive over 1 million job applications per year, and we only have the top 1% talent. Um, so we have talent from everywhere. Um, and speaking for myself, I am speaking with you from Brazil. Um, I am also from Bree's team. So let's see what we do here, right? According to Luis Paiva, who is our SVP of People, Technology and Operations, here's what motivates talent to stay in a company. Um, the first um, step would be to listen and to know the talent. This is very important. And here at the company, we assign a support partner for everyone, just so everyone will feel motivated to work with us. As a second step, we have remote work because this has been a part of the tech landscape for many years. And here at Bytes Dev, we give the chance to relocate to other cities and even become digital nomads. So this is part of our DNA. We also value company culture. Here, we offer a supportive environment for everyone to be heard, to feel motivated, and we even offer opportunities to socialize, even being remote, like meet and chills, cooking classes, and more initiatives that we offer to our employees. We also noticed that learning and the career path is something important because the tech talent is frequently self-taught. So 
we are talking about people looking to advance their skills, to advance their careers, and to maintain the interest, some of the solutions that we use are rotations, um, learning, training campaigns, and last but not least, we do know that it is important to understand the reasons. There is a really big demand for tech talent nowadays, so understanding the reasons behind every career movement is key, is very important. And this is why we have a team at Midas Dev specialized only in keeping our talent. And the proof of our efforts is that we've had many recognitions for our work. And in 2022 alone, we have received a lot more of those. Currently, we hold more than 50 international tech and business awards, including being on the Inc. 5000 um, list, which we are super proud of. And we also have received some non-technical awards like diversity and best place to work. And this highlights the quality of what we have been doing here. Now, the good news is that you can also be a part of this journey along with us. So I want to go quickly through the main steps in our hiring process to give you some insights. So the first step to join us would be the job applications. So we receive a lot of those and this is the first step and only the top 1% makes it through. Then on step two, you have the online tests. So our system will assign a set pertinent of eight to 12 online tests that are related to your role and to your experiences. And after that phase, you will go to an HR interview. Here, we conduct interviews to evaluate your experience, to get a check on your communication skills, on your personality, a cultural fit. And for step four, there are some written tests. Here, we evaluate not only the results, but also the questions asked, the approaches that are taken, the level of detail in your resolutions of every exercise. Then on step five, we have the technical interviews. Now, for this step, we will ask some specific questions related to the potential positions and the projects in which you might participate. After that, you can become a bidever and you might end up joining the team, joining a project that perfectly matches your profile. Sounds good, right? <laughs> um, once you start with us, um, once you become a BDEVR here, we have great work conditions. So our employees, they have full-time jobs with long-term contracts. They receive a monthly salary and they work fully remote from anywhere they want. You guys notice Bree is somewhere, I'm someplace else, we are from the same team. <laughs> and here we are also always using the English language, which is good too. And we mostly hire experienced teams, but we also have some positions for juniors, for trainees sometimes, okay? Now, let's hear a little bit more about life here from our own bedevers. They work here, they are aware of how everything goes at, in the company, right? So I want to invite our guests to present themselves, please. Um, so Giovanni, Nicoli, um, if you can introduce yourselves. Hi everyone. Well, my name is Giovanni. I'm a bedever for about two years. Um, I'm from Costa Rica and as Anna Lu just mentioned, this is a really nice to nice place to work. So I'll be providing additional details later on, but yeah, you'll enjoy working here. Hi everyone. Thanks Anna Lu for inviting us to participate in this. I'm very excited to be here. Uh, I'm Nikki, I'm from Employee Experience. Uh, I've been invited as dev for one year and a half. I am from Sao Paulo, Brazil, and I'm very pleased to talk about you on how has been our experiences so far and um, give some tips on how you can be part of us. Oh, wow, that's amazing. So um, now let's talk a little bit more, guys, um, about these trends, right? We discussed a lot of things that are there on top lately, how everything has been related. And one of the things that catches a lot of attention is um, the motivation to work, right? Um, so as we mentioned, um, you guys have been here for a little while. I have been here for a little bit less than a year. And would you guys say that you feel motivated coming to work every day here at Bytes Dev? Do you think this is a good environment? Well, for sure. I, I personally, I used to work in 
well, close to the city, but I spend about hour and a half, two hours daily in the traffic. So if you work remotely, you not just save that time, you also save some money on, on the gas, right? Or whatever you oh, have to do. Yes. <laughs> so that's one of the top uh, motivations for me. Another one is the work culture that we have, uh, talking to people all around the globe. It's not just Latin America people, it's every, everywhere people. So that's another thing you can learn about different cultures, about different, let's say, words in different languages. So it's a really nice thing to, to learn. Yeah, I agree with, with with Giovanni. I'm personally like motivated driven, right? Like I'm from employee experience. So motivated is like the main thing that I try to execute here in, in Vitas Dev for our Bdevers as a whole. So yes, like I switched jobs during the pandemic after becoming a mother. Um, so it's very exciting to be here and try to have this integration with uh, life and work because everything works together. Like we never talk really about work-life balance. It's pretty much more about uh, work-life integration. And I think Vitas Dev provides this very well. Uh, I love how we can um, challenge ourselves during our daily activities uh, and balance with the things that we have personal. So we have personal interests and we are uh, very challenging driven, everyone here in Vitas Dev. And it's very nice uh, how we are uh, able to conduct everything that we want. So to achieve our personal and professional goals. So working remotely with like geographical, uh, uh, our cultural diversity is very amazing. So. I love working here, so I will be glad to have other new joiners coming soon. <laughs> Actually, oh, like yeah. you were for the first, the first team that you will join. See, once you join Vice Dev, uh, it's ours. So I'm excited. Hey, that's <laughs> great. <laughs> and yeah, I feel you guys completely. I'm speaking from a really small town in a state in right in the middle of Brazil. Like it's called Annapolis. Very few people even heard of that city, and here am I. Right? Look how far we can get um, yeah. from the comfort of our homes. It's an amazing opportunity to be able to work in a remote first company, right? Because we we know that some companies, they had to transition like forcefully during the pandemic and everything, but this is part of our, our culture. So I think that's something that I notice every time we talk to other divers is that everyone feels really comfortable, right? In this remote environment. It's not something that just hit us, right? <laughs> Yeah, and it, this is also give us like a full of autonomy. I think that's something that differs us from other companies. Like we have a lot of autonomy to organize our agenda and to like and, and exercise a little bit of leadership because we need to be like leaders of our own agenda and to adjust, adjust like our time. So I think it's a great opportunity that we have here working on that uh, asynchronous environment. So that's amazing. Yep, yeah. I completely agree. That's an important, as you mentioned, there are a lot of companies that it was something imposed due to COVID, but for now it's something we have in our DNA, so it's nice. Yeah, it's amazing to have this. So um, when we talk about these opportunities and everything, um, how do you guys feel about the company? Like, do you think it was good for you to join by this dev, like career wise? Because for me, for example, it has been great. I've been here for less than a year. I have worked in two diff different teams already. I have learned so much. I feel like I grew a lot in such a, sh such a short span of time, you know? How has this been for you? Do you guys think career-wise you feel like fulfilled here? Yeah, well, uh, at least I completely agree on what you just said. Um, it, it's kind of challenging for, for us to start new projects with different clients, but it's also important for our careers to learn about different technologies, different cultures again. And yeah, every new step you do in your career is important. And it's even better if you're learning something with that step, right? Yes, <laughs> that's true. And I totally agree that we have, uh, independent of the area or where we are, we have like so many opportunities. Like once when I joined Vitas Dev, uh, the employee experience team didn't exist. So we're a fast growing company, right? So we're always changing and adapting and trying to understand like the needs of our BDEVers and how we can be better, uh, like provide a better experience. So like people's success team is now structured and we have like an amazing team working for career, with career development, with um, job leveling, with um, engagement, 
management and rewards and recognition programs. So we're always thinking about how we can improve and how we can maintain our best uh, top one, like we're the top one. So we're always learning with our colleagues. So it's amazing to work with the top one. <laughs> yes, that that does make a difference, right? We feel that we are working with the top 1% all the time. You are yeah. always meeting like amazing people. You're always talking to people in different teams who are like just like the top notch of their area. And wow, it's such a great place um, to really build up your career, your perspectives. It's amazing. <laughs> So um, talking a little bit, like we discussed a little bit about the trends for software development, for example, and Giovanni here works in, um, in tech, right? He is a little bit closer to the technology field and all. So working here, Giovanni, do you feel that you had like good opportunities to work with what is trending? Do you feel like um, in, in your area, has it been like um, something good for you to discover? Absolutely. Well, uh, as you probably know, and everybody here knows, every client will like to improve their systems, improve their the, the software that they currently have. So they keep asking us to improve whatever we're doing. And if we can also suggest to, to them new technologies, new new frameworks or whatever we can do for them, they will be highly appreciated. So whatever we can do, for improving them, it's also another important step for improving ourselves because we need to for force us to learn new stuff, new technologies, and put it into into some specific place that the customer is needing for, right? So it's super helpful for us. Yeah, this is amazing. And I'm sure this happens in like other areas too, right, Nicole? So um, when we think about that, like the growth, the opportunity and all, do you think like um, that Bytes Dev offers like a good environment for our employees from your perspective, from the work that you have been doing here so closely? Well, definitely. I think we uh, we have the opportunity like to identify opportunities, right? Like because of our fast growing, we are always being challenged to identify what, what else can we do. So but all the teams are very collaborative. So I think uh, sharp minds, grown hearts, and people that are very organized and data-driven and everything, uh, they combine so well. And we're always having like some opportunities to find out better ways to do it. Like we're very solution focused. So we're always uh, looking for opportunities. And there are, and I think the whole, all the teams are, are are providing those kind of opportunities internally, and everyone has the opportunity as well, like to find one and to create something new. So we have space for innovation. We have space for, um, I don't know, for brainstorming. We even have a process that is called like brainstorming process. So we are encouraged like to figure out like new solutions and new ideas. So uh, it's, I, I I think it's great. I think I don't know if you have anything to add. Yeah. To me, it's like the same. I feel this space, like Giovanni said and Nicole said, that we are allowed to create improvement. And that is something amazing. Like you don't you don't get to sit inside of a little box and you're not allowed to, yeah. to get out, you know? That would drive me crazy. And I'm so happy that in here we have room and space to always make things better and improve ourselves along with other processes and other things. This is something that completely makes the difference, right? Yeah. Yep. Another good thing is that we have some career uh, development in here where we can, let's say, study ourselves or reinforce the the areas that we, we need some some push up, right? So various dev also allow us to, to have some kind of improvement for ourselves. If you, for example, if you need some English classes, so if you need some mentors, if you need somebody just to help you out during the guide or during the the trip, so it's really helpful to to be or feel that confident that you you are not alone. You don't even know, Giovanni, but we're planning so many cool things for this year. <laughs> we got spoilers for good things. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we, I, I think it's, it's worth mentioning that we have like a pretty good time in the end of the year with the World Cup celebration, right? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. That was amazing, right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we had like a no, our own platform design. Like it was a, a actually it was a platform this, like designed internally led by a 
women in tech and we had like a lot of fun and we were like like to guess like who would won and everything and play together so that connected a lot everyone uh, but this is just one thing like related to fun but we do have yeah. like a lot of things related like to career development and um learning that we plan to launch this year so that's exciting wow yes. yeah that's amazing we always have exciting news from that side <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, um guys, I'm going to be opening now um for a little session of questions and answers. So, if you are watching us and you have some questions, feel free to type them in the chat, okay? My team is going to be looking for the questions now. And just a friendly reminder, um we have the link to the applicant site and you can always look for the QR codes on screen whenever they appear, but if you are watching from your, your cell phone, just go to the description of our event, okay? Either on YouTube or on the LinkedIn stream, and we are going to be able to direct you to our websites, okay? So, um, Bree is actually going to be joining us very quickly for this part of questions and answers. Um, she's going to be coming back in a while. And hey, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> guys i just had to say that i loved it like everything that you just discussed i was like three like you know knocking my head and saying like yes that has happened to me like the brainstorming the improvement and like you know sharing that kind of information and like being part of different teams i think that really that complements the essence of what our company does and what we're looking forward to be like you know stand like to be the top one right uh, so and Alu, we have some questions here um okay. for example yeah um, guys as Analu was saying, like, feel free to send your questions. We will be trying to cover all of them now. And there is one question about, like, the English requirement. Someone is asking, uh, why do we speak English in buyer's dev? So this is one of the most important ones. And, for example, as you all know, we are from different countries here. We have people from Brazil, people from Costa Rica, myself from Peru. So I think that, like, having that diversity diversity and being able to understand each other is super important. Uh, like having initiatives like to, for example, like uh, to exchange what we know about a different language, but also when it comes to uh, like sharing processes, uh, like specific things, uh, we use English. So we are all be on the same page where we, we want to accomplish. But I don't know, Analu or you guys, if you have something to share about I, this. I would add that our clients also are from all over. So it's uh, exactly. we need to be aligned with our clients as well so that's why everyone that joined by the staff has to have like one single language at least but we are pretty much uh trying to make everyone to be trilingual i don't know if that word exists sorry <laughs> <laughs> multilingual uh, trilingual. That, that, that's gonna be a bit difficult but yeah at least english will be easier for everyone yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay. Let's see another so let's see. one here. Another one. Uh, I see someone yes. here, Brie, asking about what kind of contract um, we work with. So here at Bytes Dev, we do offer long ter term contracts. So you would be signing a contract with us, and um, that is like long term. You would receive a monthly salary, okay, and you would work fully remote. So these are the sort of contracts that we offer, right? And let's look for something else here. Um, I see that there are people also asking about the application process, right, Bri? Yes, yeah. about how long does it take uh, each application process. And for that, guys, um, I would like to share with you, as, as Analu was mentioned, like the hiring process and all the steps that each candidate has to go through to have a better understanding about each profile. Since remember that we have opportunities for technical and not technical positions, it's important that you know then each uh, process will be case by case. So that means that uh, the, the the first thing that you will need to do is like visit our applicant site. You can go and like scan the QR code or you can also like 
uh, check the link in the description of the event, like create a profile and then start from there. Like start with the, with the test. And if you complete the test, it will be easier for us to have a better idea about what is your profile, what are your interests and what are the opportunities that we have for you. So we can discuss more in details uh, if this is something you will be interested and we will go from there and continue with the rest of the steps that Analu was mentioned. Yes. Amazing. And I got an interesting one here. Someone just asked um, where they can find our job opportunities. Now, you can find them on our jobs portal. The QR code on your screen is going to direct you there. If you're on your mobile profile, this link is also added in the description of the event. OK, wherever you're watching us, make sure to check our jobs board. We have plenty of opportunities. OK, so um, take a look there and we also have our applicant site, okay? There are different mm -hmm. ones. The jobs portal, you're gonna find all of our jobs there. And the applicant site, it's a good place for you who wants to um, check how your application is going and send your application to us, all right? Awesome. So and guys, I saw, an, I, I saw another yeah. here about uh, if they only have opportunities for developers and no, like, of course we have uh, for support areas, like I'm from a support area. We are uh, the proof so, of it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, we do have for everyone. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and here is a question. Uh, and I think that that this could apply to all of us uh, guys like uh from uh, our platform in youtube like do you have a good balance between your personal personal and work life how often do they call you during no working hours so i don't know if you guys would like to like give an I, answer for this I, I can start with that one i have worked with a couple of different clients in here uh, pretty much i'm gonna say never <laughs> it's completely up to you so there are clients that request to have i don't know specific releases but they ask you if you want to be part of those releases but not that's some let's say corner cases 99 percent of the time you, you you can just work the regular work hours you have planned or discussed with the client and that should be it so you don't need to worry about uh, responding emails or chats after hours and that's really good because you can plan uh, the time with your family or or your people whenever you want ahead of time yeah i i think it's just super important that uh like to all our audiences out there then you guys know then uh like buyers they've always like make that effort to respect of course, like our private life and also like make like provide the best of our like working hours. So everything that we need to cover will be inside our chief. But if there is something that we need to handle very personal, we also have the flexibility to like um, like to go to our managers, talk to them and say, hey, that's this is something that is bothering me or I need like to take some hours or like, for example, in my case, I personally, uh, I was finishing university last year and I always like had that feeling that I could go to my boss and say, hey, today I have an exam or something and I could discuss my, my schedule. So that is something that uh, me then I have like more than a year working at buyers that value a lot. That, and also like the opportunity as you, uh, Giovanni was saying, like, for example, be close to, to, to your family or to your relative. For example, I have my dog and my cats. So the, I call them like the remote, the remote work perks. Then I can like be with my, with my dog around and still working and do my things and like accomplish my goals as well. Everything like work related. But I think that that is what makes, makes it a good balance, right? Yes. Yeah, I was going to add that we are in different time zones, right? So you yes. can organize your agenda, like, because it suits you better. Mm -hmm. Of course, I always align with either your manager or your client, but we do have this flexibility. So, for example, like I sometimes I have to take two hours lunch because I need to pick up my kid at school. So I start mm -hmm. early and then I stop late. So it's a, a, a flexibility a style and we do have a lot of autonomy to, to be the owners of our agenda. Yes, that is perfect. And it's something that affects all of us. And I see another question related to that, actually. Someone asked if um, regarding family and potential employees and everything, if, they, if we need people to move to another city. And 
it's good to always remember that we are a remote first company. So um, you will be working remotely and you are able to work anywhere you want. So of course, as Nicole said, we do have different time zones. So you might need to like adapt, choose like what, which times would work better for you. So if you need to relocate at some point of your life, like you want to change cities, by does that allows that you can just take your things, go somewhere else and continue working with us because we are truly remote. You know, it's not like you should be in a specific place um, in order to be working with us. We are here, everyone from different places, and we are working from the comfort of our homes with our little pets. In my case, I think you guys <laughs> probably were able to listen to my dog. She really wanted to participate in this meeting. At some point, someone <laughs> might have heard some barking there. So, she had a question kind of too, right? <laughs> yeah, she has a question too. <laughs> so yeah, guys, um, this is something that is really a part of the way we work. Um, let's see what else. I have here another question. Do you guys also provide like English courses or like any other, uh, I'm sorry, like any other courses to improve the language, like for employees? And well, I got to say that, um, as you already know, I'm a Spanish speaker, for example. Um, I, of course, I studied English before, but like here at Virus Dev, my experience was that you have to not just speak English, thinking English and like be talking with a lot of people every day, like in your daily routine. But like the company does offer and provide like English courses so you can improve your English skills all the time. And also here we have like different initiatives where we can like, since, for example, like some of us like know different languages, not just Spanish or English, also Portuguese or any other language. You can also feel free, like, to share the uh, like your knowledge with your with your coworkers. I would have like that kind of exchange, for example, in our team with uh, Analu. Sometimes we we talk about like typical ditches or like you know yes. things like they are really uh, related to our countries, and you get to know a little bit more. And that's thing that is really interesting that you get like more information. Things that I never like could imagine and. And also I had the chance to practice my Portuguese as well. <laughs> Yay, it's great. <laughs> and let's see here another question. Yeah. Let me let me see. So I see someone asking about um, the work schedule, if it's fixed or something. And as we were mentioning, we don't have a fixed work schedule like um, for absolutely everyone in the company. Um, you can set that organize with your manager, with the client that you're working with, but we do have some flexibility. So for example, Nicole mentioned that sometimes she needs a bigger lunch, right? And she will just organize her agenda in order to fit that. I do the exact same thing. So um, sometimes we do have um, work hours set according to what our team needs, our deliverables are in that month, in that week. But you always have the flexibility, you know, here your your life is important too. So since we work from home, of course, sometimes we need more flexibility and Bytes Dev offers that. But that being said, we usually work in a window of time. Of course, no one is going to be working like um, during like late nights or incredibly early mornings just because... Um, someone else told them to, okay? So we have different time zones and everyone works in a proper window of time, um, usually from eight to eight. That's what's more usual. I think everyone's gonna agree with me, right? We usually start around <laughs> eight to end around eight, but you have some flexibility. <laughs> uh, guys, I also see that uh, like a lot of people are asking about like their specific status for their application and i gotta say again that we have like our qr codes or you can like join the applic like visit the applicant site create a profile or like enter to your profile and check your specific status but we also have in case you don't know guys we have a live chat assistance there where you can open a chat and you will have uh, like this, you will have like some answers from the support team and they will check with you uh, what is the status of your application or if you have like, you know, you will need an, you have like a specific question regarding your application or so or they're part of the hiring process, you can feel free to open the live chat and they will be able to help you as well. And let's see what else we have here. I have an interesting one. 
Oh. If a client doesn't want to continue with various of services, what will happen to that team? Well, oh. I can tell you that it, we have what we call bench is a kind of transition from whenever you are out of one team and HR relocates you in a different team. So it's kind of the transition period. You can also learn in that period, uh, improve your English, take some additional classes or something just to make sure you improve yourself. And that's another important thing for buyers. Yes. Awesome, Giovanni. And I just remember when you were this, when you guys were discussing that, I mean, and I, 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 as soon as I heard this, I could relate what you were saying since like, for example, today's to like the, the topic of the webinar is about like the new tech opportunities that we have. And we know that uh, we constantly need to adapt. It goes that even if you're in the bench, then you have the opportunity to keep learning, like keep, you know, developing your skills. I think that this is super important for us. Even if we are like the top one, we are always one. Well, I go for more and we're always like trying to like uh, as Nicole was saying like with the brainstorms and with different like exercises and initiatives that we have we try to get everything that we know and also take it to the next level mm -hmm. uh, I love what you'd say about this <laughs> and okay let's see oh here I have a question are there opportunities for juniors um so I don't know if you would like to uh respond that one Oh, yeah. So um, basically in here, guys, um, we do have a focus on experienced teams, but that doesn't mean that we don't offer other opportunities. So our focus is to get the most experienced teams, of course, but sometimes we do have openings that will go from juniors to trainee spots. And you should always keep an eye on our job on our jobs board because that is being updated frequently and we have a lot of different opportunities opportunities for a lot of different um, profiles too. So um, for example, I'm here um, for less than a year. This is one of my first jobs. So I was able to join and depending on like your profile, depending on your position, depending on what you like to do on what are your skills, you might end up joining us. So always keep an eye out. <laughs> uh guys i read this question i think is like a comment but i love it and it's uh may i drink coffee while i work just kidding and this is from youtube but i love the comment because i mean of course we can do that but like just so you know we also have like this initiative meet and chills where we like sometimes have the chance like not just with our team but we have the chance to get like get to know others members of the company as well and for example last year we have also our cooking classes that, um, that we were mentioned also in, in the webinar so where like for example the same thing with we diversity we were like you know like uh trying to to prepare mexican food or brazilian like desserts or like different things so we all got involved and it was great so yeah i Count on us for coffee and like, you know, food, we are there. <laughs> yes. I, I was going <laughs> I was going to say that is not just uh, meat and chills and coffee for fun. We do have some lunch and learns as well. And yeah, that's course. also amazing. Like we usually mm -hmm. have uh, every once in a while some lunch and learns. And those are very amazing opportunities for us to interact and learn a bit while drinking coffee or lunch yes lunch. Nicole yes I know you mentioned of course like so if you just want to go and like prepare like a dish fine but if you also want to like you already have your lunch ready you can like sit there and like get to know more information about a specific topic uh from our tech uh circles initiative that's also true yeah so we I'm have Brazilian, like the best but I'm of always both with my mate so oh yeah. <laughs> good one <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> love it. I go oh, well, plastic. I'm I go with the brigadeiros. Brigadeiros. <laughs> yes. Every yeah. time that I hear brigadeiros, I'm like, oh, amazing. Yes, it's a national treasure. <laughs> I know. Same with the, like Peruvians and, and ceviche, right? <laughs> yes, that's it. So I think we have time for at least one more question, right, guys? Um. So. Yeah, I see one. How does Barris Dev evaluate a high valuable asset, soft or hard skills? So I think it's mixed of both. Usually we we get feedback from clients 
because you are usually working with the clients every day. But we also have a feedback from coworkers. So it's also important to, to mix all the feedback from you to get to know you and get to know if you are a valuable asset for, for the company. Yeah, yes. And also, as we say, like, uh, for example, if you guys are planning to apply to a specific position, that doesn't mean that you won't be considered for any other opportunities that we may have here at Buyer's Dev. Of course, we will get in contact with you and we will let you know. So, I mean, we will let you know more about like the like the responsibilities uh, about the profile that we are looking. And if this is something of your interest, you can, of course, participate in the same process. So basically what I'm trying to say is that like with your hard skills and your soft skills, you will be part of us if uh, just you we need to like make sure that we like uh, get the the perfect match for your profile basically that's it that's why we are like always trying to encourage you to do like the test and everything related to your application process so we have a better idea of who you are and also about your skills as well yes and just to finish that um something that is really important to us is also the cultural fit because we we want to make sure that everyone who's here shares certain values you know this is very important to us we value the environment that we create for our employees so we are incredibly diverse but um we want people who match our idea of the top one percent so um we do take everything into consideration <laughs> Yay. And also, I just see that Camila on YouTube, she asked, can we connect through LinkedIn? Of course. And also, guys, please make sure that you are like, uh, that you have us on Instagram, LinkedIn, and all social media, because we're always sharing information about our upcoming events and different initiatives. You can like know more information about our like give back programs, like the initiative that we just mentioned, like for the circles and different stuff. We will share that information there. So it's better if you're stay tuned, like on LinkedIn, Instagram, and any other like channel that we have. Yay, um, this is amazing. Yay. So, oh, we have someone who um, is on their way for a tech interview soon. So good luck, Henry. Um, we hope <laughs> it goes really well. <laughs> Henry, you're on your way to be a V ever. <laughs> Yay, someone good is on luck the for you. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. And uh, well, guys, we're almost about to end. So I hope that um, we hope that you could enjoy the webinar. If you have uh, further questions or something, make sure that um, you can open your live chat about it, as we say, um, create your profile. And also, guys, um, we just wanted to say then thank you for joining us. If you have questions, let us know your thoughts about what you, you thought about this webinar. I also wanted to thank our like amazing guests, Giovanni, Nicole, and Alou for sharing important information. So I don't know, guys, if you would like to say something before we finish. Just thank you so much for having us. I love participating. Yeah, That's thank fun. you. Yeah. It was really <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm not going to say webinar. It was a nice conversation. Uh, we enjoyed talking to you, uh, sharing our bit of knowledge. So, <laughs> hope to see you again. <laughs> Yay. Thank you so, thank you much, so guys. much, guys. This has been thank amazing. you, everyone. <laughs> I hope you have a great night. And I hope you guys can like join to our next events and stay tuned. See you really soon. Right. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye.